being, doing, getting. Groups repel me because for the sake of group thought, they kill individuality, that wonderful human oneness. I'm wide open to individuals, fine with individuals. Individuals are just great. Every individual set of eyes you look into gives you something. Whether it's a blank wall or an infinite regress of barbershop mirrors, just as fascinating. People are wonderful one at a time. Each of them has an entire hologram of the universe somewhere within them. But as soon as individuals begin to clump, as soon as they begin to clot, they change. And the larger the group, the more toxic. The more of your beauty as an individual you have to surrender for the sake of group thought. And when you suspend your individual beauty, you also give up a lot of your humanity. You will do things in the name of a group that you would never do on your own. Injuring, hurting, killing, drinking are all part of it because you've lost your identity, because you now owe your allegiance to this thing that's bigger than you are, and that controls you. I no longer identify with my species. I haven't for a long time. I identify more with carbon atoms. I don't feel comfortable or safe on this planet. From the standpoint of my work and peace of mind, the safest thing, the thing which gives me most comfort, is to identify with the atoms and the stars and simply contemplate the folly of my fellow species members. My job is to watch the ludicrous dance down here for the humor and entertainment it provides and drop in every now and then to show my former species how fucked up they are. Depending on my given mood on a given day, I can reflect on one of these three relationships for a moment or two and find comfort in it. And know that I'm really at one with the universe and will return to it on a more fundamental level someday. My reunion with it and all the rest is a journey, a game, a comedy, a parade.